day two of BravoCon, how are we feeling? Fantastic. Yeah? Yeah. Fantastic. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. I mean, it's hard not to when you have the, you know, Bravo fandom here who um, have been watching you, watching Ali since she's a little girl, and remind me of things that happened on the show that I don't remember. You know, and, and things how, we just heard from someone about how I said something about somebody and it affected him in such a, like, a positive oh. way and how he remembered it. And, you know, you don't realize that um, when you give fans, like, a little bit of your time, attention, it really means a lot to them. Yeah. So I, I go very remember. slowly through the line because everybody gets, you know, where you're from. That's what they want. That's like, Yeah, that's because what that's what I want. Yeah. Like, when I'm on, when I want to meet somebody, like, that yeah. means a lot to me. So I'm always very empathetic that way. Yeah. So I love it. It's exhausting, I'm not going to lie, but I do love it. And you're loving it, too? It's fun. Like, I try to sneak away to, like, happen with my friends, and it's, you forget. Like, Ali, Ali, Ali. Um, so it's, like, the one fan that will say hi to you. Yeah. It's now all of those people. So it's fun, but you just forget sometimes. So yeah. it's, like, you know, the three days a year, we're here, we're doing it. And you guys are going out with a bang. Last night, we got to talk about... <laughs> Ooh. I got a lot yesterday. I'm not even on the shows anymore. Well, technically I feel like I was on a girl's trip. Oh, I am. Yeah, but, nice. that's, but that was like a one, sh you know, one hit wonder, yeah, not right. like a series, yeah. not a big investment, on, you yeah. know, from the network type of thing. But yeah, I mean, I guess I should be flattered that I had a lot of attention on social media yesterday. First with Dorinda and then with um, Tamara. I know. I know. What happened with Dorinda? I don't know. Honestly, I don't remember, but she also kind of came after me, just like with little subtle digs, little subtle digs, little subtle digs, and then she made like a big thing about how there was, um, you know, that nobody on New York has a house as big as she does to house everybody in the house, and I'm like, hold on a second, you know, don't dish me. Yeah. Don't give inaccurate facts. But it was kind of like, we're just setting it straight. And, you know, she's kind of going for my jugular a little bit. But the fans didn't like it. Oh. The fans didn't like it. And I, you know, I got up out of my seat and I tried to make nice and, you know, just keep the peace, really. Because there's no reason to have any problems. You just need to keep the peace. Keep it on the show. On the and by the way, that's what I love about Dorinda. Yeah. Historically, she's always like, um, you know, you're like on, in football, you beat each other up on the yeah. football field and then you get off and it's like, okay, let's have a drink. Yeah. And I feel like she's not doing that with me. She's just kind of bringing that stuff, you know, off. So I think we put it back on the field last night. Now. I mean, we like the drama as Housewife fans. I'm cool with it. But we they also, hugged it out. They hugged it out at the end. Yes. Um, but Tamara didn't want to hug anything out. No, she, I think Jill, I think she's done. Done with what, though? I don't know. I'm not even quite sure what it is. But I'll tell you something that I found a little bit hypocritical. Because, you know, when you go after me, I'm very sober, and I'm very factual, and I'm very, you know. And um, she said that I was so thirsty about, you know, outing her and coming back on the show. But I, but yet she pointed out that it was on a paid subscription that I do on Instagram, which is obviously a very small group. So if I was so thirsty, wouldn't it be on my big Instagram? Why would it be on my little? So it doesn't make any sense. So either you got to you got to go one way or the other. So if I'm thirsty, then I'm going to put it everywhere and out it. Um, or was I just trying to like the people who follow me closely? And I'm on my way to my charity event for my husband who passed away, trying to give a little not scoop, but just giving what happened last night at dinner or whatever conversation. Um, and honestly, um, if you really want to go dig a little deeper, um, what she was upset that I outed was her announcement on Andy's show Monday night that she's coming back and she was going to do it sitting next to Vicky and Vicky would have been What's the word? Ambush? Sucked. Yeah, well, ambush. Ambush. So I feel really good that I yeah, saved my friend Vicky yeah. from being ambushed on national television with her screaming about how happy she is coming back while this girl who's been on the show longer than her falls apart in front of you with heartbreak. But so, Tamara had her great moment, and it was great. And she made up the moment you know, the next time, day, and it wasn't yeah. a big deal. But from my point of view, I never did it maliciously. Yeah. I wasn't trying to steal her thunder, and I thought that her calling me a thirsty bitch was completely out of line. Yeah. Didn't deserve it. And by the way, I'm hungry, not thirsty. Hungry, Let's just keep that straight. Thirsty. Because Allie and I have built a brand together Which called I, Jill and Allie. What a transition. What a segue. Because that's Very the hungry. next thing that I want so, to talk about. Tell us your favorite products. 
all my crystal manifestation candles, hands down. In fact, we sold out of them already at BravoCon. Um, and I, I love our product so much, and I'm so uh, such a you know business oriented and so hungry that I will stand out there for eight hours, signing every candle, spending five minutes with every or three minutes with everybody, taking a picture, getting to know them. Where are you from? Because you know that's what we built together. Yeah. Um, so you want to call me thirsty? Uh, you want to call me thirsty? No, wrong word. Yeah. You know, look it up online. It's hungry is what I am. Although I am thirsty for my diet coke, I'm not going to lie.